and Lara. We're off and running at Oaklawn Park. Good start from Floating, who's out on the lead with Pleasingly. Pleasingly taking control of things. Floating takes back to second with Accelerating Babe. Tiff with Jimmy, two and a half behind running in the fourth spot. A length and a half clear of Molly of Stratford. A gap of three to I'm So Funny. And Cupid's Music's at the back of the pack early. Down the back stretch, a contentious pace ensues on the lead. Accelerating Babe accelerates to the front from the inside. Has a half length edge on Floating second. Pleasing couldn't keep up, has been taken back. Tiff with Jimmy in the two path now on the inside. Molly of Stratford has to take up a little bit. Tried to move forward, but it got tight. And she's three off the pace, getting outside now. Now she's going to stay inside, actually, as they round the turn. I'm so funny. Seven behind. Looks like she needs to turn it around. Cupid's music alongside of her. Pretty wide open on the front end. Accelerating Babe loses the lead to Pleasingly and floating. Floating in the red cap has a head lead. Pleasingly sticking to her. Tiff with Jimmy back in third, two and a half behind. It's floating with the edge. Has opened up a length and a half. Pleasingly second. Can't keep up with floating and floating. Opening up late. Three, four. Floating's gone. Floating wins it. Photo for second. It got pretty tight there between Molly of Stratford and Pleasingly. Cupid's music was fourth. And uh, we're off. Uneventful start for all the runners. Misanalyzed on the lead with Get Out of My Kitchen, who strides forward to take advantage. Get Out of My Kitchen, the leader from Global Risk. Aerial MD side by side. Misanalyzed inside of that pair. Patty Gal further out, deep on the course, taking the second spot, trying to cross over from that traffic around the turn. Kava running in midfield today with Domina and a 3D perceptive resolution is the trailer. Will attempt to do her best running later. They approach the backstretch run. Get out of my kitchen where she likes to be on the lead. The margin's a length and a half. Aerial MD second. Global risk from the inside. Patty Gow is three deep with that party. Another length to misanalyze. Getting a little bit closer on the fence. The rails opened up for her to be level second. Approaching the half mile pole. Domina running in midfield. Followed by Perceptive. Kava now second to last in resolution. Can see them all with a half mile to go. Get out of my kitchen as a fresh challenge from misanalyze to the inside who made that early move towards the lead. Get out of my kitchen in the two path. Miss Analyze squeezing through on the rail. Aerial MD third getting closer in the three path around the turn. A gap of three to Domina is sent along. Kava and Perceptive need to get going. Both of the favorites under severe pressure as they come to the top of the stretch. At this point it looks like we could be in for a long shot winner and Miss Analyze at 13 to 1 is kicked away by a length and a half. Aerial MD in second. Get out of my kitchen struggling in third. This race Race will end at the 16th pole. Misanalyzed Kelsey Har have opened up the lead to three. Aerial MD second, and it's a big break back to Domina. Misanalyzed, well clear to the line, and she will win convincingly. Misanalyzed. Aerial MD was second, third home was Domina, and then Perceptive, who was fourth. And uh, we're off. Slow break from Street Commander. Good beginning from Dicey Wager, who's shown rain to get to the front. He's got the lead. Clears off, opens up two on Secret Tavern. Second, Rudiano strides level with him. Water to wine in the fourth position early. He's five lengths off the loose leader. Another length to Chupapi Munayo, who's moving forward to be a joint fourth approaching the half mile pole. Pepperoni Kid is next. Slow starting Street Commander, second to last. I'm an oak at the back of the field, already being encouraged to pick up the pace as they hit the far turn. Dicey Wager got a breather approaching the turn, kicks away again to a two-length lead. Rudiano in the second spot. Chupapi Munayo on the inside, claiming third with Secret Tavern, who's under a hard ride. A 3D Street Commander is there, and the others have got to get going as they hit the quarter pole. 
Dicey Wager, a neck in front. Rudiano right behind his Chupapi Munayo getting outside for the stretch run. He's still in with a shot. Secret Tavern alongside of him. Here comes Chupapi Munayo on the outside, and he's collaring those early leaders. Chupapi Munayo, grandstand side has hit the front. It's Chupapi Munayo going away. Chupapi Munayo, Chupapi Munayo close to the line. He's got it. Chupapi Munayo in front. Pepperoni Kid was second. Dicey Wager holds off Street Commander for third. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oakland Anywhere. When they can't make it to the track, Arkansas residents can watch and wager on horse races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime, anywhere. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com or download the free Oakland Anywhere app and register for a $150 sign-up bonus. Bet online anytime with Oakland Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. Mesa in the middle of the field, up alertly on the pace. Mohawk River close. Victory Dash, the first-time starter, moving up on a hold here. But it's going to be Mohawk River to win the race to the first turn. Mohawk River in control into that turn. Structured second. Victory Dash coming to split that duo and is up to tackle that front runner, Mohawk River, in the first quarter mile. Victory Dash taking hold of the bit and kicking on now. Victory Dash opening up two. The rider trying to ration his speed. He's on top by a length and a half now. Mohawk River on a key holds second. Greer's Ferry moves inside of him. Vincita in the fourth position as they sort themselves out down the back stretch. Structured was prominent early as back in fifth. Higginsville broke on the outside as alongside of that rival on the fence. Another length to Silver Tone. Mo Mesa alongside of him. Then comes Gotta Have Dreams and Shattuck is at the back of the pack. Victory Dash went 23-3 and three for the first quarter. 48 seconds flat for the half mile. Victory Dash approaching the turn. A half length in front. Mohawk River second Second, Greer's Ferry shuffled back on the rail. Third is now being sent to log. Vincita fourth. He's got five lengths to make up, followed by Higginsville pushed along on the fence. Gotta have Dreams is producing a bit on the outside. Attempts to pass runners. Still has seven to game. The others are well out of it as they come to the top of the stretch. Victory Dash confronted by Mohawk River and the Ken Ramsey colors and Mohawk River snatches the lead away from Victory Dash. On the outside, Greer's Ferry is coming on. Higginsville is making up ground on the rail and Shattuck is let loose by Luis Quinones. Here comes Shattuck. Shattuck on the outside breezing to the lead. Higginsville right there battling two in second. Between them is Greer's Ferry Shattuck. He's getting a little bit tired here. Going to hit the wide. Three of them hit the wide together. It was very tight. Higginsville and Shattuck on the line together. Don't think Greer's Ferry got it between them. He was third and then got to have dreams. A photo for the win.
And uh, we're off. Awkward break from Vino Veritas, the first-time starter, is at the back of the pack. She's not a joke. Put into play early. The big Calhoun is battling on the lead. Take her back. Miss Escapade. Wampus Kitten on the far outside. Easing off the Speed Brigade. So is Lady Driller down on the inside as they sort themselves out on the lead. Spa City Gal in midfield with slow starter Vito Veritas. And Pam Pam is three deep with that pair. A gap of five to Wowzers, who can see them all as they hit the four turn run. Take her back. The big Calhoun is side by side. Miss Escapade got a breather. Eased off the pace. Is trying to come back on again in the third position around the fourth turn. She's not a joke in the fourth position. She's in a pocket. Wampus Kitten joins her, and Wampus Kitten's going well. She catches the eye. She swings into action on the extreme outside out of harm's way as they come to the top of the lane. She's not a joke. Had to steady behind horses. Gets outside of those weakening runners that she ran into. Vino Veritas is running well on debut. Is coming on after the slow break. Furlong to go. Wampus Kitten opens up. Wampus Kitten by three. Vino Veritas... And here's Wowser with a late flying finish, but it's still Wampus Kitten with a three-length lead. Wampus Kitten, Manny Esquivel the score. Wowser's second photo for third. She's not a joke. And Vino Veritas. And uh, Laruff, off a little bit tardy, was Flowers for Chantel. She be Sheehan to the lead right away. Jerry Don takes the second spot. Indy again third in the early part, chasing shadows, chasing the early speed. Into the clubhouse turn they go. She be Sheehan the leader and gets to the rail. Jerry Don off of heels second. Indy again just passed her. Honey Run is making an early bid and passing rivals on the outside. A little bit keen to claim the third position. Around the clubhouse turn, Jerry Don is shuffled back to run a joint fourth with Triple L's cutter, who's between horses. Land Turns Candy is three wide, a length and a half to Chasing Shadows approaching the backstretch run. Al Sana, it's 50 shade time. They're side by side, and they're five better than the last two. Flowers for Chantel, and my my down the backside. Honey Run has taken a hold of the bit with Alexander Castillo's runoff to open up by three and a half for four. She be Sheehan all of a sudden in chase mode in second. A gap of two to India again. Lanterns Candy, Jerry Don, Triple L's Cutter. Those four pretty much well behind the front runner here, but pretty much together into the turn. Alsana chasing shadows are next. And then comes It's 50 Shade Time, still third last. Flowers for Chantel, second to last. My My has yet to pass a runner. Honey Run coming back to the competition. She's in front by four. She was ahead by about seven or eight at the three ace pole, but she's still out there winging it, and she's still clear. Let's see what she's got for the final quarter mile. She be Sheehan is trying hard from the second spot, chasing shadows, drifts wide off the turn, is advancing position. Honey Run after the fast pace. The dirt has turned into quicksand. She's dropping out and chasing shadows. Picks up the running on the lane. Lanterns Candy. It's 50 shade time into second on the inside. Chasing shadows 100 yards from home has the lead narrowly. It's 50 shade time. One last lunge for her and chasing shadows on the outside won it. Chasing shadows got to the line in time over it's 50 shade time. Then Alsana and Lanterns Candy. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oakland Anywhere. When they can't make it to the track, Arkansas residents can watch and wager on horse races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime, anywhere. Go to oaklandanywhere.com or download the free Oakland Anywhere app and register for a $150 sign-up bonus. Oakland Anywhere gives you access to past performances, live video, and expert race analysis with no subscription fees. Bet online anytime with Oakland Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700.
What are you doing here? Just here to remind you that Oakland Sports is a betting app that goes where you go. You're not strong enough to lift this. Maybe not, but I do have strong feelings about the over on Monday night. Now let's get it! Pickaboo. Hey, buddy. Good idea. Stay limber. You know what a real stretch is? Tigers covering the spread. And guess who's nailing it? This guy. Oakland Sports goes where you go. Bet with the best mobile sports app from the brand you trust. Bet with Oakland Sports. And uh, Laroff. Cold as hell. The Gray Horse has speed with backside buzz. Master of Arms is in that group as well. Rocking Rocket, Sinner is Sin, very aggressively ridden from post two. Rocking Rocket naturally quick. He's on a hold and has a head lead on Sinner is Sin. Master of Arms in the third position right off that pair. Backside buzz running in the fourth position. He's four legs off the lead with a half mile to go. Chiringo racing in fifth. Another leg to Cold as hell. Then Gold Luck and Tim Tao. They're side by side. Como Ramino and Moide has one runner beat and that's on the field as they round the far turn. Rocking Rocket, Center is Sin, hook up with five sixteenths to go. Master of Arms in the three path right there battling as they round the turn. Chiringo looking for a spot to go, but he's pinned in. Cold as hell tried to get through a spot, but the shot, but the spot got tied off as they come off the turn here and Cold as hell is dropping back. Master of Arms is in front now, passing Center is Sin. Rocking Rocket has dropped out of it, and here comes Chiringo with big strides to take the lead. Chiringo kicking away. Como Rabino Amoide is coming on the scene down on the inside, and Gold Luck's coming with a flying finish, but Chiringo is going to give Manny Esquivel and Sippy Contreras two wins today. Second home was Gold Luck. Just got there for second over Como Rabino Amoide, and then there was a photo for fourth. And they're off in the Eclipse Stakes. Alto Road from the inside, sent along to get forward position. Isn't quick enough to get to the front, though. Tapatio Leo on top here early. Edge to edge takes second. Morello strides in third in the early stages. Gun Pilot, Kavad in chasing time. That trio's together, two off the lead. Another length and a half to touch revenge and Mr. Iceman. Sir Wellington is second to last. Alto Road dropping to the back of the pack. The big long shot dead last and need to turn it around as they hit the forward turn. Tapatio Leo on the lead, edge to edge, pressing from the outside. These two a half length apart as they round the turn. Morello shaken up from the third spot, chasing time down on the inside of Kavad still. Gun pilot is three wide. Touch revenge behind a wall of horses. Mr. Iceman takes the outside route, tries to circle the field, and then comes Sir Wellington as they swing off the turn. A bunched up field swings off the corner, edge to edge, and Rafael Bejarano have gone to the lead. Gun pilot on the outside takes the second position. She's charging hard, edge to edge with a furlong to go as a Three-length lead, Gun Pilot surging after him, but Edge to Edge is full of run, and Edge to Edge is going to win the Eclipse Stakes. Gun Pilot second home, Tapatio Leo holds third, chasing time was fourth. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oaklawn Anywhere. When they can't make it to the track, Arkansas residents can watch and wager on horse races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime, anywhere. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com or download the free Oaklawn Anywhere app and register for a $150 sign-up bonus. Bet online anytime with Oakland Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700.
the finale. Truculent on the inside, up on the pace with Shaq's way. These two won two. Busy legs not far off in third. Coach Adams, deeper city legend, easing off the speed into the turn. Mystery Mo looking for revenge. Her side-by-side -side. T Bones trick is in the second last spot. And that leaves our doc to trail at the back of the field with him now. A tightly clumped up field, just five lengths from first to last. And the leader is Shaq's way on the inside. About a neck in front, looking for revenge. Tugs at his rider to join the front runner. Busy Legs is three deep. That trio's two lengths ahead of another trio who line up. Coach Adams, City Legend, and Truculent to the inside. Mystery Mo in the end zone athletic colors is running in seventh. And he's only three behind down the back stretch. A gap of five to our doc. And T-Bone's trick being encouraged to pick up the pace he drops to the back of the pack as they approach the half mile pole Shaq's way is the leader a half length looking for revenge still right there pressing second busy legs backs off in third into the turn city legend being asked to produce a bid he's making an early run claims the third position from busy legs truculent down on the inside four lengths off the lead sent along from there so is mystery mo right behind him coach adams is next our doc t-bones trick still well behind top of the lane Shaq Shaq's way shugs, shrugs off looking for revenge who calls it a day. Shaq's way is opened up two. Now two and a half as he swings off the corner. City legend second. Coach Adams grinding away. Truculent tries to come on the scene late into the second position. Shaq's way has a furlong more to get. He's got a two length edge. Truculent trying still second. Shaq's way shaken up for his best and he's got enough to win it. Shaq's way. Nick Juarez gate to wire. Truculent was second, Coach Adams third, Mystery Mo fourth. And Lara.